everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today i'm doing another declutter so today i am decluttering my lipstick so i have this very big bag here which i've had for many years now actually but it is really full and like i said in my previous declutter video i need to just get rid of the stuff that i do not use i keep it I keep it I keep it and i buy more it just accumulates and then obviously I can't use it up and it just sits there and gets wasted so I think with lipsticks I need to be a bit more hard on with it because they do get old quite quickly so once that you obviously you open it gives it some air it starts to kind of lose its kind of <laughs> it time yeah the time of it is gonna be running out of it so I need to just get on with this and kind of get rid of what I can there's always gonna be stuff that I'm keeping just because of the nostalgia of it. I don't have anywhere else to put them. So I tend to just keep them in the box, but not really use them. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this is gonna be in no particular order because I really don't, <laughs> all my my things are just mixed up everywhere. So I'm just gonna take a handful of things and then I'll just talk through if I'm keeping them or not. So the first thing I am gonna keep is the NARS. I think this is like the, the lip matte like the whip matte and this is in the shade total domination i do really like this it's really comfortable on the lips and although it is it's been out for like almost over a year now it still works perfectly it's not finished just yet so i'm gonna keep this and by elf so this is their satin lipstick i will keep this because it's brand new so i've only used it like twice but it is a really stunning red a lot of like things that you will see in this video that I have a lot of red lipsticks but I am starting to kind of steer towards different colours these days so yeah I'm just going to keep this one. P. Louise, um, I don't know if, I mean they still make these but I just don't know if this colour in particular, I mean I will keep this because it's a stunning colour and I actually mix it with other of her lipsticks so I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this Lux lipstick by um, Colourpop so this is in the shade Belle so this is part of their princesses collection so I am going to keep it just because um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I am going to keep the box because I like the box but this packaging is also absolutely stunning so yeah this is yeah this, some of these are not going anywhere but some of them I will be getting rid of keeping the mac you know retro matte liquid lipstick so this is actually kind of new in my collection i will throw the box away because <laughs> i don't need the box so yeah this is a stunning like deep red so i am in love with this the formula is fantastic i really want to buy more colors but again my budget probably <laughs> won't go too far with like especially with mac so we have this kvd lipstick this is in the shade uh roll roll breaker no roll breaker yes um this i don't know if i'm going to keep because i have so many of these i mean this is a stunning red but i have so many red lipsticks already um this is going to go in my maybe pile just so when i get the others i can kind of compare them because i can't keep too many of these lipsticks they are stunning but they just transfer so easily and they don't um really stay on for very long my nars another NARS lipstick so this is the powder matte lipstick so I'm also going to keep this this is like one of my favorite lipsticks of last year I'm gonna get rid of the packaging just because <laughs> I mean I don't need it but yeah this is an this is a stunning lipstick cosmetics this is in the shade Besos I think this might be the pink one um you know what the formula for this is not amazing um the packaging is stunning this colour is um, <laughs> not really a colour that I tend to go for, but I tend to use it um, if I do any certain looks. And I love this velvet kind of packaging. It's the same as the eyeshadow palette. Um, I'll keep this for now. Maybe I'll do a couple more looks of it. And because it, I mean, it is quite drying, um, I mean, I'll just add like a gloss on top of it and it will still look stunning. I have this lipstick by Revolution. So this is part of their Corpse Bride collection in the shade victoria um i don't know i do i do like this lipstick i might say maybe to this because i don't i mean i've got quite a few colors quite similar to this but um yeah it's nothing special to be honest so this is going to go in my maybe pile as well this from lois cosmetics so this is the your signature lip so this is actually a lip gloss 
in the shade holiday request i love these lip glosses they're stunning and they, you can use them by themselves or obviously as like a topper so i will definitely keep this but i'm gonna throw the box away I have this lip cream by NYX. You know what? I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of these lip creams. They are super nice, but they just, they just feel a bit too whippy for me. So I will get rid of this one. I have the Cash Beauty in Blood Moon. This is really nice. I feel like it needs a bit more oomph to it. Like it is a re, it, I mean, it's red, but it also looks like it's kind of like a deep nude tone. Um, it's the only lipstick that I have by Cash, so maybe in the future if I pick up another one, um, I might get rid of this one, but at the moment it's still good to keep. Then I have the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick. I mean, these are really nice. The, <laughs> the sticker of these, like in Superdrug, they are just so difficult to get rid of, so that's why it looks weird. But this is a really nice lipstick so i will keep this so this is from the soph collection by revolution so this is technically like a lip balm but i would use it as a lipstick i'm gonna kind of declutter this because i don't really use it and it's not really a kind of a formula that i would use on a regular basis this is the other p louise lipstick that i will keep so this is the perfect pal lipstick oops um in the shade uh, was it so you can so this is actually the first one that I got this is stunning they really stay on all day so I'm definitely keeping this I'm gonna get rid of this Colourpop Luxe I think this is a lip gloss <laughs> in the shade Bengal I've had this for ages but I just don't use it and I, I mean again there's no reason for me to hold on to it so I'm gonna get rid of it it's obviously in the UK now so I got their lipstick in the shade I think it's like some it's rogue yeah, in the shade Rogue. This is amazing. This really lasts all day. So I'm definitely keeping this. And when the, stop op the shop opens, I will be buying probably a different, couple of different more colours. Next is Lisa Eldridge. So I'm definitely keeping this. I mean, first of all, it's expensive. But second, it's the most stunning like purple lipstick ever. Because I wanted to try something different. And this just, the packaging is amazing. It's so cute. The lipstick gives me so much confidence when I use it. I might keep the box as well because it is just pretty cute. Next I have this Stay Matte by Real Love Revolution. I'm going to keep this because it's nice. I mean, in my last declutter I did get quite, I, get, I got rid of quite a few of them. But I actually have another one here. I think I might get rid of this one because I have this one already. So this one I will declutter. And this one I will keep. I think this is the Suicide Squad lipstick. This is in the shade, I don't know. <laughs> That's helpful. I think this is a really nice deep tone. I think I've used this like once. But I will keep it because I might use it again in the future. This is by Flower Beauty. I mean, I really want to keep this because it is one of my favourite shades. Um, but they don't have Flower Beauty in the UK anymore. I don't know if this is separating. But the thing is, I've used this so much that I think like it's almost finished. Um, I will... Hmm. It's difficult. It's so difficult. Um, I think it's time to let go of this one because I've had it for so long. I'm going to keep this by Revolution. It's one of their IRL lip whipped creams and it's super nice so I'm keeping that one I have a lip gloss from Glisten Cosmetics so this is in the shade Blood Orange this is really nice it's a nice topper so they have a lot of different makeup items currently so I really recommend this you can get them on Beauty Bay and their website as well butter gloss I mean I have a few butter glosses that I will probably get rid of because I don't use them as much but this is a really nice color that I think I can just put on top of a lipstick so I'll keep this one and it's like a limited edition one as well so I'll definitely keep this one um beauty crop so this is one of their creme brulees in panna cotta so I'm just gonna double check if I like the color because it's a bit too light actually so I did recently get another one of these lipsticks that I will probably obviously use so I'm gonna declutter this one I have the Fenty Beauty. I'm going to keep this one. It's been a while since I've actually got it, but I still use it. It's still stunning and it's, yeah, one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. This one by Revolution. I do not use this, um, in all honesty. It's more of a, like a lip, liquid lipstick as opposed to a lip gloss, but yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. There's no point in me keeping it. 
I think this is by, yeah, this is Primark. This is obviously like a dupe of like Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to keep this because I, I think I've only used it once and it is nice for like nude makeup. So that's, I'm going to keep this. Another butter gloss, so this is again part of their limited edition. It's a nice deep tone, so I will keep it and maybe in the next week clutter, if I don't really use it that much, I will get rid of it. Lip vinyl, of course I'm keeping this. These are still amazing and stunning, so definitely keep that one. V Cosmetics, this is in Blood Moon. This is stunning, like a nice vampy colour which I love so keeping that one. one of my favourite formulas ever um, lip lingerie by NYX and this is in the shade um what's it called it's hotter <laughs> so yeah this is stunning I love this formula amazing uh KVD vegan this formula is amazing there's another one that I picked up recently and yeah I'm definitely keeping this this is I think Lolita yeah, in KVD. This is really old now, so I'm going to declutter it because these still had like Kat Von D's name on it and it's been quite a while since she's actually owned the brand, so I'm going to declutter this one. Rare Beauty, of course I'm keeping this. Absolutely amazing. So talking of lipsticks that I'm always going to keep, my LA Splash lipsticks, I mean... I'm never getting rid of these unless something happens to my makeup collection but um, yeah I only just keep them because of the packaging I don't use the lipsticks because I've had these for about four years now and obviously I'm not gonna put them on but I keep them because I love them so much so these are definitely staying there's this lipstick by Technic this is actually terrible it's um, a matte lipstick this is quite new in the shade pinch me but it just is is horrible it didn't feel nice um and as soon as i kind of put it on i regretted it so i'm bidding this one i have this by beauty crop this is quite old in the shade uh what's it called i'm a boss i've had this for ages i'm going to get rid of it because again i have a newer version of these kind of lipsticks so i'm going to declutter this one i have this matted lip whip by She Glam. This is actually like a grey tone, I believe. Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel that nice putting it on, so I am probably going to get rid of it. This Smooth Whip by NYX. These have just come out in the UK. I've had them for a few months because I do get, occasionally I get stent stuff by NYX, um, part of their app, but this is honestly one of the best lipsticks I've tried in ages um, I really love this so of course I'm keeping this one I have lip oil by Lottie London I mean lip oils are just standard for me I love them so much so I'm just going to keep this one I have this lipstick by I think they're called yeah rock and roll beauty who are part of revolution now this is amazing this is part of their Ozzy Osbourne collection in the shade Devil's Daughter and I, I'm i pretty sure as when I'm filming this, I don't know when I upload this, but these are on sale at the moment for like £4.50 and it's like a gorgeous shimmer liquid lipstick and I absolutely love it. I am definitely keeping this one. The Milky Gloss by NYX, again, I really love this formula. I'm keeping it. Jolie Beauty, I mean, I got this part of a mystery box and the colour mocha is absolutely nothing like the lipstick that i that i actually found inside which i found really kind of disappointing in the beginning um but then when i put it on it does not feel very nice so i am going to declutter this even though i do love supporting indie brands and i follow them on their social they have some really really nice makeup but this lipstick just did not do it for me some pat mcgrath these are stunning so i'm obviously keeping these ones have the new pout by be perfect in the shade stare so this is a gorgeous like every day like new tone and it is really matte <laughs> so i'm definitely keeping this it's gorgeous this by catrice i mean this is like the marie collection this is too pink for me i'm going to get rid of this because i just don't use it even though it's disney and it's catrice i'm no i'm not about that by colourpop so this is one of their lux I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is like a liquid lipstick slash lip gloss. I'm 
probably not a big fan of these formulas so I'm going to get rid of this one. 7 dupe for Huda Beauty. Um, this is really nice so I'm going to keep this. It's just a nice affordable um, just bullet lipstick. Have another Fenty Beauty in under underrated I think. This is again part of Christmas collection. I do need to declutter these but I just love them too much so yeah I'm going to keep this one. I have a Melt Cosmetics lipstick. This is really nice. The la in the last kiss in the shade. Yeah, last kiss. These are really nice. I mean, I want them all, but they're not that affordable. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna keep this one from Clarins. This was just part of like a Christmas box that I got, but this is really nice. It's a really nice. It's like it obviously looks orange, but when you put it on, it comes out as clear. So I will keep this one. Okay, so now we're going into the Real Love Revolution Super Matte. I think this colour might be a bit too deep for me, so I'm going to declutter this one because it's in the shade Chocolate. <laughs> it's very chocolatey. Um, yeah, I just don't think I would kind of suit this tone because, I mean, I'd, I'd rather go for like a pure black or maybe like a deeper nude, but this is like too deep for me. Next we have the Eternals lipstick by Urban Decay. I've only tried this a couple of times, but the formula is pretty nice. It's a nice red. Um, I'll keep it, even though I haven't used it in a while, but I will get into like using it <laughs> as soon as I can. Next we have KVD. I mean, this is the blue shade now, and at the time I was like, yeah, it's a great idea to buy blue, but I never use it now, um, and I rarely, rarely do use it. I'll, I mean, I might keep it to kind of if I do a look at some point, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep this one. We have some dupes like Charlotte Tilbury ones that I got from Primark and also have another one. I mean, this is a lip oil, this is a lip gloss, this is another lipstick. I will keep these because they're nice. I mean, I haven't tried the lip oil or lip gloss, but I'm sure they're just as nice. Um, so yeah, I'll keep these. I have the, um, was this one? Yeah, this is Juicy Gloss by um, by NYX Makeup. So this is really nice. It's a nice kind of everyday and they smell amazing. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Have Game of Thrones lipstick from Revolution in the shade Stark. So, no, Sansa Stark, sorry. Um, I've used this like once or twice. I think I need to use it again before I realise if I actually need to throw it away. have another one of the this is juicy gloss I'm going to keep this I have this one by she glam I'm going to get rid of it just because I don't think it's anything special it is a nice tone but it's like I've got so many of these colors I'm just going to get rid of it I have the one of the original lip lingeries um I might declutter this now because I have quite a few of the new versions so I will get rid of this one unfortunately um, this is the like House Labs lip gloss. They don't do this version anymore and I actually got this from Amazon Obviously because I mean it came out with Amazon So I'm gonna declutter this one because I don't use it and because it's an old formula Have this by 17. It's quite new. So I mean there's nothing wrong with this at all like 17 is so affordable um, And yet yeah, I mean it's unoffensive. So <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this one I have this by MAC, so I got, what shade is this one? I think it's like chilly, so this is stunning. I'm gonna keep that one. I have a very tiny Pillow Talk <laughs> by Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm gonna keep this one obviously because it's Pillow Talk. I have this is Milky Gloss. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's starting to separate. So I, yeah, I mean, this is so pale for me that it probably won't do much for me. So, yeah, I'm going to declutter this one. Then we have by MUA. This is like a really nice, it's actually quite new in my collection as well. It's quite reminiscent of this Urban Decay one that I have, but it is still just super nice. And I think it's like £3 for this, so very affordable. I probably will declutter these two butter glosses because I don't really use them. They're really nice, but I think when it comes to these glosses, they it's a really light coat, so they come off quite patchy for me, so I probably just won't keep these. I have this by L'Oreal, but the thing is, I got this from Poundland, so I really don't know if it's old or how new it is. Um, I will keep it, maybe try it a couple more times, and then probably just get rid of it. 
I have this by Fenty Beauty. I'm definitely keeping this. It's absolutely stunning. And then two other um, lip lingeries by NYX. So I'm definitely keeping these ones because these are just absolutely stunning. This by Beauty Bay. I'm probably going to get rid of this. In, no, actually, no, this is sweet. This is a brand, This is one of the new ones. I will keep this because there was another one that I have, which if I haven't already decluttered it, I will. But this one is quite new in my collection, so I'll keep it by Doll Beauty. I mean, I've had this for ages, but it's still absolutely, this formula is amazing. And the shade is stunning in the shade Yule, what? Your Well Red, so that's nice. The Beetlejuice collection, my, my whole life is a dark room. Definitely keeping this one amazing. This by Technic, I probably will declutter just because it's not, um, I mean, it's a lip liner on one side and the lipstick here. It's nothing special. I think it costs like two pounds. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't need it. Have this by Sleek. I don't think I've even, I haven't even opened this to see what the colour is like. I'll keep it to try it out. And then if I don't like the colour, then I'll declutter it. I have another KVD. <laughs> One of these lipsticks. So this is, these are, the thing is, these shades are so nice. It's in the shade, or this is in the shade Lita. Um, and then I also have, what's this one? Is it Zine Queen? Yeah, I think with this one, I might get rid of this one because it's much deeper. Um, yeah, I'll probably get rid of this one and I'll keep Lolita because it's just a really nice shade. Uh, the lippy sticks by Colourpop. Mm, I've had these for so long now. I think I might declutter this one what else do i have another one just here as well oh yeah this is one of my favorites unreal i mean i love this a lot um the problem is this oh i think this one might nearly be finished i mean i might get rid of both of these because I'm, I'm planning to do another order from ColourPop soon shh don't tell anyone um but yeah these are, i think i've just had them for so long that they're kind of dried out unfortunately Next we have this by Morphe. I mean, all things considering that's happening with Morphe right now. Um, in the UK, it seems like there's no problems at the moment. So I'm going to keep this because this formula is so good. It's in the shade Morphe. It's just a stunning, like an orange red. So I'll keep this one. Next we have another Milky Gloss. So this is, let me look at some other nyx ones i mean nyx are just <laughs> i can't like complain at nyx because they're just so generous every time that they send things to people but um i think i just have too many and i have another one here as well um i will keep this one actually there's a soft matte cream i'll keep this one as well um milky gloss i will keep and then these three i will kind of declutter because i just don't really use them as much and again the purpose of having too many i only have one lip <laughs> i have two lips but i have like <laughs> one lip to put these on so they're just going to get old if i keep them next is color pop by this is a lippy stick actually this is orchids i will keep this because it's a really really nice deep purple and if I ever want to do like an alternate look or if I'm going to a gig which you know is my massive aesthetic then I will just use this and it's absolutely stunning um this NYX um shine loud I don't like this color actually it's a pink and even though yeah the formula is amazing because this really does last all day I don't like the colour so I think I will get rid of it just for the colour because I think when I ordered it I thought I ordered a red and I got a pink and I don't really wear pink so yeah I'm not gonna keep this one. Then I have P. Louise bullet lipstick oh these are stunning um this is really nice I kind of mix this with um her other her lipsticks as well this is the shade heights so yeah I will keep this one and the packaging is just so heavy it's like a actual bullet <laughs> but um yeah i'll keep this one i actually have another of this peel oh no i think i've got this um like the dupe i think this is like a w7 one this is in the shade l word it's strange because all these companies that dupe charlotte tilbury they all have exactly the same packaging and so it's quite confusing if it's from primark or if it's from l7 or whatever oh, no sorry w7 um but yeah i'll keep this one because it's just nice 
Then I have the other two Melt Cosmetics. Oh my god. I have the other two Melt Cosmetics lipsticks. Um, it's a nice purple and there's like a pink shade. Um, I will keep these because again they're still quite new to my collection. So yeah, I still use them. We have this by Colourpop. I mean, mm, lip cream. I'm not going to keep this because I don't really use it. Um, it is a nice colour but I don't use it so no point keeping it. And then I have Kaleidos, which I'm keeping this. This is still amazing. I'm keeping it in the box because I love this packaging. Um, yeah, this is staying. I actually found two more of my LA Splash Monster lipsticks. So I have the Frankenstein and the Jacqueline Hyde. Oh, I really wish they made these again. I, it would make me so happy if this day just re-released them because I would buy them all over again. Um, but alas, I will have to keep these. So I'll keep these somewhere safe. Next, I have another one of my KVD lipsticks. This is in uh, Shed Find, Shed Find, I don't know. Um, this is quite similar to Lolita, so I will probably declutter this one because, again, I don't need so many of these regardless of how nice they are, so I'm getting rid of this one. I have another, the Super Matte. This is actually quite nice. I mean, it's kind of like a nude tone so I will keep it I mean when I say that these are super matte they are super duper matte so if you want something that's really like gonna stay on your lips all day this is it <laughs> then I have another one of the what was it called um the NYX shine loud lipstick this is like in the green I'm definitely keeping this for when I have like an alternative day um yeah this is great have this by Clarins. I mean, I don't think I've even used this because it's meant to be just like a like a lip conditioner. So I'll probably put this aside so I can actually use it as opposed to it just sitting in my collection. Have another lippy stick in the shade Slacker. This is oh yeah, this is too pink. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's just yeah, a bit too pink for me. Then I have the Colourpop um, Hocus Pocus collection, well not collection but lipstick in Hello Boys. This is a black, I think this is the only black lipstick I own now but I'm going to keep it because it's obviously stunning and I haven't had it too long. I think I got it part of one of their sales so yeah this is staying. I have another Colourpop which is, actually is this Colourpop or is this Revolution? No, no Colourpop um, from their Nightmare for Christmas. This is, oh I love this colour. I think it's, I think it's called Jack. I could be wrong. Um, Jack Skellington, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, definitely keeping this one. My friend gave me this Bobbi Brown lipstick which is the first product, product I'm ever trying by Bobbi Brown as well. This is a stunning red so of course I'm keeping this one. Another Pat McGrath, keeping this one for sure. Even though these are all minis, it just gives me a feel of what her formulas are like. And if I was to ever buy a full size, what I would get because these are really nice. Another Melt Cosmetics, keeping this one. Body Collection, uh, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't use it and it's a bit too pale for me. Um, yeah, I think the formula was nice. It's just not really worth keeping to be honest. Flower Beauty, oh, it's going to break my heart, but I think I need to get rid of this now because like the other one, I've had it too long and we can't get Flower Beauty anymore and I'm just, you know, stop my heart from breaking even more. Um, I'm just going to get rid of it. Had this by MUA, so this is a Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Firecracker. This is nice, it's a nice um, deep red. I think I will keep it because it is very long lasting so that's pretty good simpsons revolution collection the mr burns <laughs> dracula i got rid of the gloss but i am keeping the liquid lipstick because it is a really nice red have another one of these just keep on like multiplying it's crazy i've never thought i actually had that many but this is in the shade aubergine this is not a, a colour that you'll call aubergine. Aubergine is purple but this is like a deep red but I'm going to keep this because it's really nice. I have another one of these but this is actually from Beauty Bay so this is their part of their golden opus collection or whatever a golden age collection. This is really nice. The glitter does not go oh, on your lips at all. Um, it's just the look of it on the side of it but this is in um, Sidecar. This is really nice. 
have a P. Louise lip drip, so this is really nice. It's kind of a, well, it's a lip gloss, but it is quite long lasting, to be honest, um, in the shade Ready For You. So I love this one. They recently came out with the lip drip, like other glittery ones, I think, which is super nice, but this is really good. Have another <laughs> butter gloss. Again, these like multiply. I will declutter this one because I don't need another one. Have this by Milani. I like I love using this again on alternative days. It's a deep purple purple. <laughs> um yeah, I'm gonna keep that one in I am powerful. I have this lipstick, this well perfection matte by collection. This is a really nice red. Um I think this formula is quite watery, but it does dry down like really really quickly. So I will keep this one. Last product now we have a Pat McGrath lip gloss so I'm keeping this because it is really nice and small and I use it whenever I do like TikToks or really quick like makeup looks so yeah that is I'm keeping this one by the way um yeah that is my collection okay so that was my declutter so I mean I think I managed to get rid of quite a decent amount of items it's never going to be like completely minimal because there's just stuff that I really don't have the heart to throw away because the quality is so good and maybe sometimes I do just want to use them up but yeah let me know what you think do you think I got rid of enough or probably more than enough that I needed to but I will be decluttering more things in the future so please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I am active on there all the time and you get to see what I'm up to on a daily basis if I'm not at work but thank you so much for watching take care guys Bye.